The France Stanford Center started operations in 2003. It was set up as a joint project. We want to foster collaborative interdisciplinary research between uh, scholars and students here at Stanford and their counterparts uh, in French research institutions. So we're part of Stanford's broader effort at the moment to really connect more um, deeply and thoroughly with the rest of the world. We have been hugely fortunate to support a really broad range of projects across the full uh, scale of, of human knowledge, really, that, that universities engage in. It's been really quite a privilege to see um, the many uh, wonderful and exciting things that, that scholars are doing uh, at Stanford and in France and elsewhere in the world. So the summer before my senior year, I received a research grant through the Division of Literatures, Cultures, and Languages that was funded by the France Stanford Center. And this research grant was for my honors thesis to go to Paris and do archival research. I really could not have foreseen how far beyond my honors thesis this research would take me. It was during that summer that I actually realized that I wanted to go into academia and pursue a doctoral degree in French. And it was through that formative experience of being in the archives and pursuing my own scholarly project that I came to that realization. In Montpellier, I tried to use molecular and imaging techniques to identify the different types of neurons present in the striatum. And now, thanks to the Friends Stanford Fellowship, I'm using groundbreaking techniques to understand how uh, these neurons are connected to other brain regions and how they control many types of behavior. And I can take advantage of uh, many tools that are here in Stanford and that we don't have in France. So it's kind of complementary to what I'm doing and it adds a very important value to my research. International collaborative research is hugely important. There's something very productively disruptive about engaging with people who have um, approached the same set of questions often, but from a very different perspective. It, it sparks the creative juices. So the project that um, was funded by the France Stanford Center Fund uh, was a academic conference in Paris at Sciences Po involving issues of racial equality and history. And we had a multidisciplinary group from several nations, mainly the United States and France, focusing on a variety of issues with respect to race relations, and in particular, a comparative focus to race relations in France and in the United States. Between myself and this group in France, we wanted to investigate multiple systems atrophy, um, which is a division. It's kind of a disease that's very similar to Parkinson's disease. So it's really been fantastic. It's the kind of opportunity that once you get this little, little start going, this little ball rolling, it's really just kind of opening up into so many different things. The Franz Stanford Fund made it possible to convene a conference that took a broader and more comparative approach than any of us would have done otherwise. It's precisely because these scholars came together that we were able to take this new approach. The very idea of documentality is something that forces us to think anew about texts that have been known for a long time. Studying and spending time in France really positively impacted my research and my professional life here. It gave me confidence in being able to take what I've learned while at Stanford to another institution and know that I can work with collaborators outside of Stanford. Going abroad and like seeing other cultures, it's a way to just realize that your way of thinking is not necessarily right. It might not be wrong, but there's just other ways of thinking because there's other ways people were brought up to think. So without these funds from the France Stanford Institute, we wouldn't have been able to investigate this uh, scientific question, which we hope will help inform a lot about our understanding of the disease which will help people develop therapies which will actually target and help their actual patients. You know, for me personally, being associated with the center has been a really wonderful opportunity to broaden out my uh, knowledge base in a way that is really difficult when we are based within a particular department, within a particular university, in a particular national setting. So I don't often, in the course of the interactions I have with my colleagues and students on a daily basis, I don't have the chance to 
uh, interact with astrophysicists or uh, computer engineers or physicians. And this is, this is a shame, right? I found it was a very positive uh, collaboration. The fact that it's interdisciplinary, um, the, the fact that we were able to actually ask for funding. We have now a little working group and within this working group we have even submitted a white paper for this new Stanford initiative uh, for a new institute. The fellowship from the French Stanford Center allowed me to become affiliated with a research center at Sciences Po. Uh, so I now have this connection with this researcher. Building sort of this collaboration with this other center is also instrumental in piloting projects on the ground. And so they're helping me now down the line uh, with this survey and we're hoping to uh, have their students also come to the lab. And Working abroad is such a valuable experience in so many different ways. Um, not only in science, because you get to learn different scientific techniques and different ideas and theories that are all over the world, but also to be able to communicate with a very diverse group of people. Being able to be immersed in the research and the social culture for an extended period of time was unique and really beneficial for me in terms of both productivity and mindset. You know, I found that it's affected my teaching in all of my classes because uh, the ability to bring additional perspective on what we're doing here in the United States is invaluable. It removes the blind spots, the kind of blinders that people tend to wear about their, our, our own legal system where it's, the tendency is to think our way is the only way to accomplish something. I think that it's really wonderful that the Franz Stanford Center provides these opportunities to undergraduates and I think it makes all the difference to be able to do research in the field at a young age and to be a scholar. Well, I have to thank you guys for actually giving me the funding to go over there. It was a very magical experience that I will remember for the rest of my life. I'm pretty sure I've peaked. It just goes downhill from here. Like that summer was amazing. 